The S1000 mirrors are notorious for showing just your shoulders. So one of the solutions would be either to get uh, mirror extensions like this set from SW Motec or to install bar end mirrors. Bar end mirrors can be quite expensive so I went with this route to get this uh, product from SW Motec. I do like SW Motec products and um, these mirror extensions um, are touted to do the job. Inside the packet you'll find the bundle of parts, uh, some ex uh, instructions and a little booklet of applicability which models that they apply to. Instructions are very minimal and they just tell you basically uh, this. I don't know if you can see it but it just shows you an exploded view of uh, what you've got to do to install uh, the mirror extenders. So it's fairly straightforward. Tools to do the job 17 millimeter box wrench uh, you can have a shifting spanner here uh, that is adjusted to 17 as well you need a ratchet with an 8 millimeter uh, bit on the end these are the parts that shipped and you're going to need some Loctite uh, to tighten to lock the threads. So I guess the idea would be to uh, to remove these mirrors here and then install this extender in its place and then in reinstall the mirror back into the into the base of the extender. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, I don't think it'll take anything other than uh, box wrenches. So um, let's start. Right away you can see there's a little bit of a problem here. See it's always good to do a test fit before you do anything and this here follows that part there. I don't know which one of you had a keen eye but I had forgotten to install the spacer that was supplied so putting the spacer on raises this up and it actually clears uh, the, the cruise control and you can still operate the cruise control from the front right and of course you have access to set here so this comes right around without fouling this now because of that so I've put on the spacers and I'm gonna continue with the installation as you can see it's installed the rubber boot is back in place uh, I even managed to get a little scratch there I don't know why because I covered that over with uh, masking tape when I put a wrench on it just to keep it still as I tightened the nut on the top uh, tighten the bolt um, but uh, somehow or the other I managed to get a tiny scratch. You want to return this mirror into its standard uh, um, adjustment. Bend it back so it's in the standard position. The gap is, is the same all around. And, and then what you do is try and best, uh, as best as you can um, put that, this here, parallel to the mid part of the, of the handlebar so that it comes straight out so you want it straight out and then after that you can adjust this uh, inwards or, or or however to see behind you and I think looking at this look at that 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 is way sticking out past the end of the uh, of the handlebar so not so good for lane splitting but uh, this is the right side not so good for lane splitting but um, it certainly will do the trick for seeing behind you so if you're a lane splitter, you live in California and you can lane split or you live in the UK or, or in Europe where it's allowed, um, you certainly will have to think twice about this. But anyway, that's the installation of the SW Motec uh, uh, mirror extenders, a uh, fine piece of kit. And um, oh, and I didn't show this, but there is a little cap that goes on top of the bolt uh, that I put in there. So the spacer is installed as you can see here after my initial mistake and the cap is there and everything is in installed. I'm just out for a, a little test ride uh, to test these uh, mirror extenders and uh, so far I think I've got them adjusted right but I wouldn't know until I get, uh, get a car behind me and uh, 
right now there's no cars behind me <laughs> uh, so we'll get into some traffic now also got the uh, bar end painted bar end is on here you can probably see it uh, it looks quite a bit shinier than the other one but uh, I'm not gonna spray over the other one because that's uh, not going to be worth the effort as far as I'm concerned. I'm also uh, riding the bike for the first time since I uh, put on these eBay blinkers. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, I can see the lane behind me. I can see the motorcycle behind me. Visibility is perfect. Wonderful. Oh man. I don't know. Can you see that? See that? Yeah, I can see all all the lanes uh, left and right, both of them behind me, and uh, I like to be stopped at a light now uh, with a car behind me to see how close I can see behind me. I'll get that in a little while. So. This has been a success. See, there's a truck right behind me and I can see him in both mirrors, especially the right mirror. Right mirror shows the entire lane behind and the left, uh, and the left mirror shows just a little piece. I can see that truck that I just passed in the left lane perfect 